Hey guys, hey. So, what I've been doing, I got the TD50 a long time ago. And anyway, it's all good. But then started using the door, you know, Studio One, and um, putting it through MIDI. And then when the drum kit went standard mapping through MIDI, um, 99% of it, well, 95% of it's okay. But little things such as these little triggers and, you know, some of the AUXs and things like that, we're just triggering like, you know, we'd be hitting a cymbal and it would be doing like a bass drum or something like that. So I needed to remap it. Um, found that way today. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. So now when I record on the DOW Live or whatever else, I don't have to go through and grab a whole row of MIDI, you know, bass notes that were supposed to be cymbals and move them or anything. It just maps right. So um, you got to change that per kit, you know, do the MIDI mapping per kit, but it's pretty damn simple. You go to your kit and then menu. I'm already on there at the moment, but just say you hit that straight away. That's your first page that you come to if you go right up, 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 up. So if you go down, down, down to notes, you know, MIDI notes, whatever, you can see there and you can hit like each of the drums and it will tell you, you know, D1, 26, whatever. So I had some, I had some things mapping like this symbol was AU4 rim and head. And when you'd hit it before, it used to be a bass drum. But um, yeah, I've gone on there now and I've changed it by this thing. It's got all the the sounds that are in you. Like I use Easy Easy Drummer as my um, plug-in, but I'd say it'd be the same for any plug-in and DAW. Just go to it; it'll open it up, and then yeah, hit what you're on, and then you know that's. Sorry about that. Had it on mute. I was thinking, what the hell's going on, man? But anyway, yeah. So, yeah, you hit it there and see, you can see the thing going, correspond. But just say that was mapping. Just say that was mapping as a tom or something like that. Now you could go to here and it says crash one edge, you know, 55 G3, for example. And just say that that was something that you didn't want you can just go through this list and you know now it's mapping as you know t3 the tom three um obviously obviously you don't want that but it just shows you that you can go through and you can map it all the numbers don't seem to match what's on easy drummer but uh, there's probably there's probably some way you know that the the mapping numbering system here corresponds to seems like it's a keyboard you know correspondence will map over to here you know so if i hit that and um that's that tom it'll say that the triggers actually you know you go to the details and it says it's a1 a1 f4 well we can quite clearly clearly see here that it's 77 f5 so totally totally different but yeah you can just go through trial and error trial and error and then yeah what did i say i was i think i said it was like 55 or something like that i'll change it back to 55 yeah and now she's a symbol again so awesome man i hope that helps somebody with their their custom mapping over and above the the standard roll and mapping or whatever your um drum kit brand is cheers guys bye